Okay, quick video. Um, vintage size tuners on a modern on a modern uh, Tele or Strat with the 10 millimeter holes. And so you can go and buy from Stumac uh, what's called a like, a like adapter bushings, and they uh, they will fit. So the vintage size. Um, whatever this is, the shaft part fits inside here. This, the the um, the diameter of these though, uh, on vintage is usually like eight mil eight millimeters, I think. And on these uh, modern Telecasters, uh, and this is a modern, like as in uh, I think this was two thousand eleven. But I think most of the modern stuff applies here. Uh, you, so anyways, these are like, I think they're like eight mil. This is a set of Wilkinson. Uh, they actually come in at like nine mil, nine millimeter. And so they, 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 there's a little bit of play. You, pull, you know, I wouldn't try, you could probably try to do it, but they would, I don't feel comfortable having that in there without some, some kind of pressure. So what do you do? And so I thought, well, I don't want to, I don't want to modify this. So what can I do? And I do have a set of like cheap Chinese uh, bushings coming. Um, but my buddy Adam, he ordered them and he said they look so terrible. He just, he just, he had to take them off. They just looked so bad. Uh, so I thought, you know what? If, if I could somehow increase the uh, diameter of this somehow so that it fits more snugly, uh, I probably use these and uh, have a matching set of bushings. And so I thought to myself, well, I could probably use like masking tape or coil a piece of like paper in there and try to like create sort of like a shim. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna try th this is basically a, um, it's shrink tubing for, um, uh, for, for doing, uh, for covering connections like if you solder two wires together, you can put this on and, and heat shrink it around it and it creates a, an insulated um, shield. It's better than that sticky tape that always gets disgusting after a bit. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try that and see if this works. So, so check it out. So basically all I'm going to do is I want to, if you can see that, um, I want to like, you know, create a little sleeve about that long, about as deep as the... Uh, about as deep as the bushing. And then I want to take that, slide the bushing in, and then shrink it. So here's what I'm going to do. You can see I just got it sitting at the, on the end of a skewer. And I'm just going to take my lighter and shrink that. You can see it's starting to shrink. Totally shrink it. Make sure it's right up to the to that little collar. Not that it really matters. And then just shrink that on to create a little extra an even size. Okay. And then check it out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, You can see that there's like a little sleeve on that. And so what I do now is I take that and you can see that it's not a tight fit, but it's a snug fit. And it centers that up perfectly. And you can see that that's the second one. So I'm gonna try that out. Um, hopefully it doesn't like affect the sound too much. I don't think it will. I think most of the, the sound you're hearing is coming off the nut. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to try it out, and uh, and I think that's a simple solution. And that way I can fit a you know, vintage size to these modern 10 mil holes. And uh, I guess if there was other sizes, you could just kind of, 
you know, do a couple layers of this if you really need to, to, to stretch it out. Anyways, um, maybe that's of help to somebody. Maybe not.